we're going to ask BHS students what their favorite spring activity is. Sleeping in a hammock. Cool. Um, going outside. Well, I play softball, so I'm probably playing softball. Just going outside and being warm. Watching some movies. Uh, going outside. Hang out with my boyfriend on the weekends. Going outside and drawing. I play, uh, doing Easter with my family. It's really fun. Okay. A little stroll in the park, probably, you know. The weather's like perfect, it's not too hot. I don't really like hot weather though. So maybe, I don't know, actually. Picnic. Picnic, Go park, just park. Park, park. one answer, park. Hello Brunswick High School and thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, March 1st, I'm Haley Stewart. And I'm Emma West, and here's what's going on at BHS. Students, the Brunswick Student Jobs page is live and features job postings from local businesses around the community. If you are looking for a job near or in the Brownsburg area, please be sure to visit brownsburg.k12.in.us slash students jobs. New postings from Indy Parks and Harmony Learning Academy were just added this week. Students, don't forget, quarter three ends next week on Friday, March 8th. Following next Friday, we will have two more weeks until spring break. Report cards will be sent out on Monday, March 15th. Be sure to have your grades in order, and if you have any questions, follow up with your teachers. Good luck to our show choirs as they perform at the Avon Vocal Invitational on Saturday. Starlight is scheduled to perform at 11 a.m. and Spotlight will take the stage at approximately 3.15 p.m. Bulldog we'll Spectacular is coming up next weekend and we'll have a story on that coming up next week, so stay tuned. The Brownsburg rowing team will have coaches here at BHS on Friday, March 8th during all lunches. They will be here to answer any questions you have about the rowing team and explain opportunities that come with being part of the team. If you want more info, please visit ndrowing.org. Come join Bulldogs for Life as they host their next gathering on Thursday, March 7th at 7.10 a.m. in Mrs. Heldman's room, C2308. Students for Life Indiana Regional Coordinator Ben Ice will be in attendance as he will demonstrate how to answer questions on hard topics in dialogue. Donuts will be provided and they hope to see you there. Help save lives, give blood. Did you know that a single blood donation can save up to three lives? If you're at least 16 years old, please consider donating at school on Thursday, March 21st. Sign up at lunch on Monday, March 4th and Wednesday, March 6th. Don't forget about Brownsburg School's anonymous reporting app called Stop It. Stop It is a mobile app that empowers any student to anonymously report school safety issues and reach out for help if they or a friend are facing a personal crisis or experiencing situations such as bullying, theft, mental health concerns, violence, harassment, substance abuse, or any other safety concern. This app is available to you for 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Scan the QR code on the screen or find one of the posters in the building to download the app. Use the code BCSE STOP to connect today. Hey, did you know today was the first day of Women's History Month? I did, but I don't know much about it. Me either, but BHS TV's Stella Waller has all the information we need. Hey guys, today's March 1st and the first day of Women's History Month. We caught up with some of the Women's Rights Club presidents to see how we can celebrate March here at Brownsburg High School. I think it's really important to dedicate March for March, uh, Women's History Month because um, learning from like where a lot of trends came from, which roots a lot from women's history, it's very important to learn where our trends came from and where our, like, our history came from. And it's also important to talk about not just um, all year round like women's rights, but just kind of where things came from and the good parts of history. Women's Rights Club is kind of celebrating Women's History Month by just kind of recognizing the impact that women have had over history and just how they've changed the course of like um, not only America's history and Brownsburg's history, but just like the world and how, like what a true like impact and change they've made. Women's History Month is a time to celebrate the incredible achievements and contributions of women throughout history. From trailblazers like Susan B. Anthony and Rosa Parks to modern day icons like Serena Williams, women have made a lasting impact in every field imaginable. It's a month to honor their resilience, strength, and determination. So let's raise our voices and recognize the remarkable women who have shaped our world. It's important to celebrate Women's History Month in Brownsburg because women have made such strive in our society and it's often overlooked and it's good to especially, um, specifically recognize them in their, in their field of interest. We are focusing on education for the month of March and we'll probably do some Instagram posts as well and then we'll be doing donations for a book drive and a clothing drive at Sheltering Wings and we're just going to have as much outreach as possible for this next month. Um, so yeah. Thanks guys, can't wait to celebrate Women's History Month. Stella Waller, BHS TV. Wow, I can't wait to celebrate Women's History Month. Me too, March will be a very educational month here at BHS. Now it's time for sports. Hey Ozzy, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, tonight is a big night for our boys basketball team as they continue to sectionals in Terre Haute. Let's take a look at the sectional 12 bracket as the boys basketball state tournament continues this evening. The semifinals will take place tonight as Terre Haute South will face Avon in the first game at six. With the win over Plainfield from last Tuesday, the dogs advance to Terre Haute North. Tip-off will be approximately 7.30 p.m. 
With the win over the Patriots, the Bulldogs would advance to the sectional championship game tomorrow night, Saturday. All games will be played at Terre Haute South High School. Congratulations to members of the Brownsburg wrestling team as they were honored by the Indiana Mat on Thursday. The assisting coaching staff was named the 2024 Assistant Staff of the Year. Along with that, Coach Snyder was named 2024 4A Coach of the Year. And lastly, Jay Cockaday was honored by Indiana Matt as the 4A Wrestler of the Year as he won his third consecutive state championship. Great job, guys. The Boys Club Volleyball team will be hosting a Dine to Donate at Books and Brews in Brownsburg on Saturday, March 2nd from 11 a.m. to midnight. 15% proceeds on that day will go towards the team. Be sure to tell your server that you're there to support BHS Boys Volleyball. Anyone interested in playing soccer next year here at BHS is invited to attend the call-out meeting on Tuesday, March 5th, after school in the LGI room from 3 to 4 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Coach McGrath. And good luck to the boys' basketball team tonight in the sectionals. We'll have a recap from their weekend coming up on Monday. That's all we have for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Ozzy. Now let's check in with Addie for a look at the weekend weather forecast. Hey guys, we're keeping the cold weather around today, but a warm-up is on the way. Today we'll get a high of 42 and a low of 39. We had rain push through the area earlier this morning, but should be clear for the evening. Saturday will begin the warming trend as we reach a high of 57 and a low of 42, with some clouds around most of the day. And Sunday is a pick of the weekend with a high of 69 and a low of 50, with periods of clouds and sunshine. We'll get all the way up to 76 degrees for a high on Monday before cooler temperatures return. Enjoy the warmer weather on the way. Back over to you. Thanks, Addie. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and we will see you on Monday. Now they see my blood on their sneakers.